Welcome, fellow pilgrims, to our We Are Saintly YouTube channel as we embark on this sacred journey about St. Cyril and Methodius today. I'm Priscilla, and I invite you to join me on an extraordinary pilgrimage where we explore the rich traditions and spiritual treasures of the Catholic faith. In this sacred space, we delve into the depths of devotion, faith, and the power of prayer with a special focus on learning all about St. Cyril and Methodius. This channel is all about teaching you about the holy saints so that you can deepen your faith. Today, we'll explore the exciting graces contained within these incredible saints, St. Cyril and Methodius, and apply these lessons to our everyday lives. Together, we'll cultivate a space of spiritual growth where we can learn from one another, uplift each other, and find solace in the St. Cyril and Methodius in our shared Catholic heritage. Join me on this journey today about St. Cyril and Methodius, where prayer becomes a transformative force and our souls find sanctuary. Take a moment now to subscribe to our channel because we have more awesome videos coming up and hit the notification bell to be a part of our sacred journey. Let's get started. Few narratives are as enthralling and inspiring as those of St. Cyril and Methodius in a world filled with numerous tales of love, dedication, and amazing lives. These extraordinary saints, whose names will live on in the annals of Christian history, set out on a mission that would have a lasting impact on the spiritual and cultural landscape of Eastern Europe. Embark on a trip with me as we explore the fascinating story of SDS. St. Cyril and Methodius, whose unshakable faith and relentless commitment to the spread of the gospel have left a lasting impression on believers' hearts for generations. St. Cyril and Methodius appeared as rays of hope throughout the 9th century, a period of intense turbulence and shifting political landscapes, bringing the torch of knowledge and the love of Christ to the Slavic peoples. These brothers, who were raised in modern-day Greece's Thessalonica, set out on an astonishing journey that would forever change both their lives and the lives of many others. St. Cyril and Methodius set out on a linguistic voyage motivated by a great love for God and a burning desire to spread his message to those who had not yet heard it. They set out to develop a written alphabet that would enable the Slavic peoples to read and comprehend the scriptures in their own language because they understood the importance of language as a bridge between cultures. The outcome was the development of the Glagolitic alphabet, which was later improved into the Cyrillic script and is still in use in many Eastern European nations today. St. Cyril and Methodius started out bringing the word of God throughout the great expanse of Eastern Europe with their linguistic talent in hand. For the Slavic peoples to have access to Christ's teachings in their own language, they worked ceaselessly translating the Bible, liturgical books, and other religious materials. This enormous project transformed hearts, fostered a sense of unity and belonging among various cultures, and delivered the light of Christ to those who had long been in spiritual darkness. Saint Cyril and Methodius faced obstacles and resistance as their ministry progressed, but they persisted, walking in unshakable faith and with divine grace guiding them, establishing a lasting legacy of devotion, learning, and cultural preservation. They received the honorary titles of co-patrons of Europe and patrons of the Slavic nations for their unwavering dedication to the gospel message message and their relentless work to encourage reading and education among the Slavic peoples. As millions of people continue to find comfort, inspiration, and a deep sense of solidarity via their legacy, the memory of St. Cyril and Methodius endures today. In addition to the temples, monasteries, and sacred locations devoted to their remembrance, their ongoing influence can also be felt in the hearts of people who embrace their teachings and want to walk in their shoes. Join me as we explore the incredible accomplishments, spiritual journey, and lasting influence of St. Cyril and Methodius as we delve deeper into their exceptional lives. Let their tales serve as a sign of hope, showing us that, despite obstacles, love, faith, and unshakable commitment may help us change the lives of others and bring the light of Christ to a world that much needs it. What is the story of Cyril and Methodius? There are historical accounts of people whose lives ring true over time and leave a permanent imprint on the books of our collective memory. This is the tale of the two brothers known as Saint Cyril and Methodius, whose unflinching commitment to learning and religion altered how we view language and spirituality. Saint Cyril and Methodius were destined to set off on a trip that would influence the development of Christianity and culture in the Slavic nation. They were born in the 9th century in the heart of Thessalonica, Greece. The brothers pursued their study with unrelenting enthusiasm since they were endowed with great intellect and an insatiable desire for knowledge. They attended prestigious universities as a result of their education, where they became fluent in several languages as well as in philosophy and theology. Saint Cyril and Methodius felt a strong calling to share the gospel with the Slavic people after being inspired by Christ's teachings. But they had a major obstacle to overcome, the Slavs lacked a written language through which they could understand the teachings of Christianity. Unfazed, the brothers set out on a quest to develop a script especially suited to the Slavic tongue. Their perseverance paid off as they created the Glagolitic alphabet, which served as the basis for the Cyrillic letter. This groundbreaking script not only made it easy
easier to translate the Bible and liturgical materials, but it also laid the groundwork for conserving Slavic literature and culture. Beyond linguistic barriers, the brothers' work served as a witness to their unrelenting dedication to uplifting Slavic peoples and reaffirming the value of cultural variety within Christianity. What did Cyril believe about Jesus? Cyril firmly based his views on Jesus on the teachings of the early church fathers and the Bible. He wholeheartedly embraced the idea of the Incarnation, according to which the Son of God, Jesus Christ, dwelt among humans in order to redeem and reconcile people to God. Cyril emphasized Jesus' role as the Savior and the link between humanity and God by viewing him as the personification of divine love and mercy. Cyril also recognized Jesus' dual character as completely divine and totally human. He defended the traditional interpretation of the hypostatic union of Christ, maintaining that while Jesus was forever linked to the divine nature, he yet possessed a full human nature. Cyril's theological foundation was based on this conviction, which is incorporated in the Chalcedonian Creed. Jesus' life and teaching served as the pinnacle of compassion and altruism in Cyril's eyes. He stressed the importance of Jesus' death and resurrection, saying that they provided humanity with salvation and eternal life. Cyril's unwavering efforts to translate and spread the gospel ensured that the gospel's transformational message reached the hearts of the Slavic people, which was a testament to Cyril's love to Jesus. The life of Saint Cyril and Methodius is a tale that perfectly captures the power of education, religion, and cross-cultural awareness. Together with Cyril's unshakable faith in Jesus, their commitment to developing a written language for the Slavic peoples established an enduring legacy that helped to build Eastern Christianity and promote understanding amongst many cultural groups. These creative brothers demonstrated via their work the immense influence that a blend of intelligence, empathy, and devotion can have on the world. The legacy of St. Cyril and Methodius serves as a reminder that despite difficulties, the search for knowledge and the advancement of understanding can heal rifts and change people's lives. What did St. Cyril and Methodius do? There are illustrious characters in history whose noteworthy exploits leave a permanent mark on the tapestry of human civilization. The names of St. Cyril and Methodius stand out brightly among these exceptional persons personalities. They have left a lasting mark on language, culture, and spirituality with their significant contributions. Saint Cyril and Methodius' efforts were nothing short of revolutionary. These venerable brothers set out on a heroic mission because they were steadfastly committed to bringing the gospel to the Slavic peoples. They set out on a difficult journey to construct a script and translate sacred scriptures into a language that the Slavic communities could understand because they realized the fundamental value of language in communicating religious teachings. Their groundbreaking linguistic research Research resulted in the creation of the Glagolitic alphabet, which served as a foreigner to the widely used Cyrillic script of today. This script made it possible for St. Cyril and Methodius to translate biblical and liturgical writings into Slavic, ensuring that the profound Christian teachings resonated and were understood by the Slavic people. Additionally, St. Cyril and Methodius were devoted missionaries in addition to being linguistic pioneers. They bravely traveled to many places, ceaselessly proclaiming the gospel and founding Christian settlements. Their altruistic efforts aim to provide those seeking spiritual nourishment with light, hope, and the transformative power of Christ's teachings. These amazing brothers shared a steadfast faith in Christianity's ability to bring people together. They ardently fought for the preservation and appreciation of Slavic culture, realizing the intrinsic connections between faith and culture. Saint Cyril and Methodius fostered Slavic people's pride and feeling of identity by embracing and promoting the Slavic language and cultural heritage, creating unity and peace in the face of variety. What language did Cyril and Methodius translate the Bible into. Saint Cyril and Methodius undertook the laborious effort of translating the Bible into the Slavic tongue because they were passionate about seeing that the profound truths of Christianity were spread throughout the entire world. They chose Old Church Slavonic as the language for this historic initiative. Old Church Slavonic, a language that had its roots in the Slavic dialects of the time, was used to communicate Christian doctrine to the Slavic peoples. By translating, Saint Cyril and Methodius hoped to close the gap between the divine and the human by utilizing languages transforming capacity to convey difficult religious truths. They faithfully transcribed into Old Church Slavonic not just the Bible but also hymns, liturgical texts, and other religious materials. To enable the Slavic-speaking populace to get a deeper grasp of the gospel and take advantage of the rich spiritual sustenance provided by the scriptures, their goal was to make these holy books understandable and accessible to them. Saint Cyril and Methodius gave the Slavic peoples a gift by translating the Bible into Old Church Slavonic, a priceless tool that nourished their faith, protected their cultural legacy, and helped them feel a part of the larger Christian community. This outstanding accomplishment demonstrates their dedication to language innovation, cultural preservation, and the gospel's global reach.
Church. In conclusion, St. Cyril and Methodius' outstanding achievements continue to be felt throughout the ages, serving as a reminder of the ability of language, culture, and spirituality to cross barriers and have an impact on people's lives. They continue to inspire and encourage many lives with their groundbreaking work in translation and linguistics, as well as their unshakable dedication to the gospel. St. Cyril and Methodius' unwavering spirit and rich legacy serve as a beacon for us, inspiring us to value difference, protect cultural traditions, and promote peace among all people. Through their unflinching dedication to sharing the gospel and their groundbreaking language contributions, these amazing saints, known to the Slavs as the Apostles, left an enduring impression on history. St. Cyril and Methodius recognized recognize the value of language and its capacity to reduce barriers to communication and foster understanding. They bravely stepped into the uncharted territory, creating the glagolitic alphabet and converting sacred literature like the Bible into Slavic. In doing so, they helped to maintain the cultural uniqueness of the Slavic peoples and made the Bible available to innumerable people. Their message has endured the years, reminding us of the value of accepting diversity in all of its manifestations. We are all obligated to recognize and honor the diversity of other cultures, just as St. Cyril and Methodius did with regard to the distinctive languages and practices of the Slavic people. By doing this, we may weave a fabric of oneness that cuts beyond boundaries, languages, and cultural norms. Maintaining cultural heritage is an act of love and respect for those who came before us, not just a sentimental sentiment. We are obligated to continue the work that St. Cyril and Methodius committed their entire lives to doing in order to preserve and advance the Slavic people's cultural legacy. We have the power to guarantee that our rich cultural legacy thrives for future generations, whether it be through the preservation of traditional customs, the development of indigenous languages, or the protection of historical landmarks. Furthermore, St. Cyril and Methodius show us the value of promoting harmony among various ethnic groups. They accepted the task of spreading the gospel to numerous cultures and languages, realizing that true unity is found in a common cause and shared faith. Their example encourages us to look for common ground, to create bridges rather than walls, and to promote understanding and compassion in our dealings with others in a world where differences frequently divide people. Let us be motivated to continue St. Cyril and Methodius' legacy as we think back on their lives. Let's celebrate diversity, protect cultural history, and promote intergroup harmony. By doing this, we pay tribute to the spirit of these great saints and advance the cause of a loving, respectful, and empathetic global community. May we, like Cyril and Methodius, create a lasting impression for future generations as their unwavering spirit continues to lead and inspire us on our own spiritual journeys. Where are SDS Cyril and Methodius buried? Those who wish to honor the memory of revered saints and find inspiration in their outstanding lives attach great importance to their final resting place. Knowing the location of the saint's grave becomes a religious journey in and of itself for people who seek to honor the magnificent heritage of Saint Cyril and Methodius. The mortal bones of Saint Cyril and Methodius are interred in the stunning Italian city of Rome. These beloved saints are kept in the everlasting city known for its extensive history and spiritual richness. The sepulcher where these distinguished brothers' mortal bones rest can be found on the holy grounds of the Basilica of San Clement. The Basilica of San Clement, which is also a work of art, extends a warm invitation to guests to enter a place of worship and introspection. Knowing that you are in the presence of these famous saints who helped to shape Christianity fills you with awe as you enter this sacred sanctuary. The tombs of St. Cyril and Methodius are located in a tiny chapel deep within the Basilica. The feeling of peace and spiritual tranquility that surrounds you as you get closer to the tomb helps you feel deeply connected to the lives and legacy of these exceptional beings. Pilgrims from all over the world come to pay their respects here in the midst of the Basilica of St. Clement's beauty and grandeur in search of consolation, direction, and inspiration. The resting place of St. Cyril and Methodius serves as a holy place where fervent prayers are murmured, hopes are fostered, and the light of faith endures. Prayer is such an important aspect of growing in your faith. Also, meditating on the gospel for at least a few minutes a day can dramatically deepen your faith. Are you familiar with the gospel? I believe that you were brought to this video today for a reason. Let's take a moment to think about the gospel and what the religion of Christianity is all about. The Bible tells us that all of us have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God and that we all need a savior because of this. Romans 3.23 Because of this, God sent his one and only son to us to be the atonement for our sins. As it says in John 3.16, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. You see, in Malachi 3-6 God says, I am the Lord, and I do not change. He has always required a blood sacrifice for the atonement of sins. He says this in Leviticus 17:11, For the life of a creature is in the blood, and I have given it to you to make atonement for yourselves on the altar. It is the blood that makes atonement for one's life. 
He also repeats this in the New Testament when he says in Hebrews 9.22, Without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. This is why Jesus, God in the flesh, had to come into the world and live under the law, which are the Ten Commandments, to redeem those who were under the law. Have you obeyed the entire law of the Lord? Have you ever stolen anything, even if it was small? Have you ever lied? Have you ever not kept Sunday as a day of rest and worship of the Lord? Have you ever looked with lust at another person that you were not married to or done physical things with a person you were not married to? Have you ever desired something that your friend or neighbor had that didn't belong to you? To be honest, it's easy to break these laws because our nature is inclined to sin. The Bible says that if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. However, it says in 1 John 1-8 and 9, If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. What a merciful and loving God we serve. Because God loves us so much, in Isaiah 53, 10, it says, Yet it was the will of the Lord to crush Jesus, when his soul makes an offering for guilt. Jesus was born of a virgin, died on the cross, and rose from the dead. He conquered sin and death, and because he rose from the dead, he promises to raise us from the dead after we die too. This is the glorious gospel. The next step after a person has received the gospel is to go to RCIA at your local Catholic church. You can search for the nearest church on Google and call them to see when the next classes start. If they don't start for some months, you can still meet with the director and get some books to read to tie you over before it starts. I will be praying for you about all of this. This is the road to eternal life. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our other videos about inspiring saints. I appreciate you taking the time to view this video. Make sure to check out the links below in the description so you can grab your We Are Saintly Catholic t-shirt and be a part of our We Are Saintly Catholic community by signing up for our email list and joining us on Patreon. I give you free saint printables each month, a free We Are Saintly shirt each year, shoutouts, and more in Patreon as a special thank you for being a part of this amazing Catholic community. Are you considering taking a Catholic pill pilgrimage to honor St. Cyril and Methodius after learning about them today. I've traveled to lots of places, and I'm well versed in the things you may need along the way, so I've compiled a list of links in the description below where you can find cheap flights, car rentals, destination packages, and more. Save this video so you have those links handy and visit our blog to learn about more holy saints that will ignite your faith. I sincerely hope that learning about St. Cyril and Methodius has brought you a sense of comfort and tranquility. If you found this video to be beneficial, please do not hesitate to give it a thumbs up, share it with others, and subscribe to our channel. Always remember to keep the faith and believe in the power of prayer. May God bless you and provide you with guidance on your journey. Until we meet again, take care of yourself, keep going to church, reading your Bible, praying your rosary, and sharing the gospel. I'm praying for you in all of this.